TryHackMe released a new SOC Analyst certification called Security Analyst Level 1. Is it good? Should you take it? Let's find out. Full disclosure, although this video is sponsored by TryHackMe, I will be completely transparent and provide you with my honest opinion about this certification. Now, before we do get started, if this is your first time seeing my video, hello, my name is Steven, and I have been in the cybersecurity industry for over eight years now within the security operations domain. On this channel, you will find various videos about career guidance, SOC related lab walkthroughs, and projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. So if you're an aspiring SOC analyst or an existing one that wants to level up their skills, then I would recommend that you check out what I have on my channel after this video. For those that don't know who or what TryHackMe has to offer, let me briefly introduce what they do. TryHackMe is an interactive cybersecurity training platform that offers over 900 plus hands-on labs and 350 challenges, which includes both red team and blue team. So you get a nice mix of attack and defend training material. In addition to those labs and challenges, they also offer various learning paths as well. And the one that I typically recommend to those who want to become a SOC analyst is the SOC Level 1 Learning Path. Now that you know just a little bit more about what TryHackMe has to offer, let's talk about their new SOC Analyst Certification that was released on February 25th, 2025, and how they created it. From their site, it says, Stand out with Security Analyst Level 1, aka SAL 1 a hands-on security analyst certification built by industry experts. Prove your skills, showcase real-world experience, and launch your cybersecurity career. The main thing that interests me the most is where they say, prove your skills and showcase real-world experience. I wonder what they mean by that. Scrolling down, we do get into the reason why you should get certified with Security Analyst 1. And it does appear that they offer a simulated SOC environment, which is pretty incredible, where you get to essentially feel what it's like to be working in a SOC. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would like me to dig into the SOC simulation. Continuing on, this certification was built with Accenture and Salesforce. I won't be surprised if these two companies add this particular certificate onto their job postings in the near future. They do also offer flexible learning, allowing you to take your time, which is always nice to have because many of us don't have the luxury to spend eight hours a day on training. Looking at the skill section, Anyone who certifies with SAL1 will learn the foundations, defense frameworks, and even case report writing to name a few. This is incredibly important to have because as a SOC analyst, it's not all about your technical skills. It's also about your ability to translate your findings into a report, which could then be delivered to a non-technical audience. And it seems that going through this certificate, it'll teach you that. TryHackMe also provides a comparison between other certifications and SAL1 checks all the boxes. But if I take a look at the job ready SOC experience column, I don't really agree with BTL1 and CDSA not having job ready experience, but that's just my opinion. For the exam details, you get 24 hours to complete the exam. The price is £299 and this includes training. But if you're an existing premium subscriber, this costs 255 You do get 3 months of premium subscription, allowing you to tackle the SOC level 1 path and additional rooms to get the training you need to become confident to pass the exam. I love that they also offer one free retake, allowing you to get a sense of what the exam may consist of, which relieves a lot of pressure, for me at least. Once you log into TryHackMe, you'll be presented with a lot more details about the certification. There are no prerequisites, but TryHackMe does provide a recommended learning path for you, which can be found under the recommended learning tab. Under the exam details, it has three sections where the first one consists of 80 multiple choice questions that cover Cyber 101 and the SOC Level 1 path. The other two is where you get to be in the weeds and tackle a real world scenario where you'll get to see alerts triggered in real time and you will also have to prioritize and triage effectively using the SOC simulator. Now let's go back and take a look at the topics covered in the exam. Starting with foundations. Immediately, they mention networking basics, and if you're aware of my content, you know that I stress the importance of networking, so I am extremely happy to see that this is the first thing under foundations. Operating systems and applications will also be covered. It does mention an introduction to Active Directory along with analyzing web traffic, pretty much the common things you'll encounter as a SOC analyst. If we move on to the defense frameworks, it does go over NIST and MITRE ATT&CK framework. 
These are very important to know, and the more you learn about these frameworks, it'll really change the way you see things, if that makes sense. Common malicious behaviors. Now this is awesome. You get to tackle phishing, network attacks, exploitation, authentication attacks, malware, and even lawbass attacks, aka living off the land binaries and scripts. This tackles majority of the attacks that you encounter. However, I do wish that there was a bit more focus on cloud attacks as many organizations do utilize the cloud. On to tools of the trade. It covers EDRs, WAFs, NDRs, SIM, SOAR, and TIP. The alphabet soup of a SOC analyst. Seriously, these are all good things here. And I like that they touch on the deployment and functionality of these tools. Next is common SOC documentation. The exam will cover incident response workflows, escalations, and severity classifications. And that is quite important, but do keep in mind that these can vary between organizations. It goes over playbooks and network architecture diagrams, which I really love because they do teach candidates how to interpret network diagrams and how to apply those into investigations. Knowing how data flows across the environment, where sensors are placed, and where telemetry is being pulled from is incredibly important. Finally, we get into the day-to-day -day SOC activities, where it'll focus on analyzing and prioritizing alerts in a SOC environment. You do get to practice on triaging alerts and learning which ones to tackle first. Lastly, the exam does go over important SOC metrics and KPIs, aka key performance indicators, which do show the value of a SOC. So how did TriHackMe create this certification? Well, they conducted hundreds of interviews with hiring managers, hosted user research events, and also partnered with Accenture and Salesforce to identify the skills a SOC analyst needs. They also developed a mentorship program, ran a mini certification beta, and refined the exam format to ensure that it accurately measures real-world SOC skills. At the end, they came up with a two-part assessment consisting of multiple-choice questions to test the fundamentals and a hands-on practical exam where candidates triage real security alerts, ensuring they can perform under real SOC conditions. Overall, I think that this certification that TriHackMe is offering is worth it based on the following. Number one, it touches on the foundations. You get to learn IT, networking, and cybersecurity. You get to also learn about case reporting, which is often a skill that is overlooked in many trainings. The SOC simulator will provide you with a real sense of what to expect as a SOC analyst. TriHackMe as a whole platform is beginner friendly and by tackling the certification, you do get a premium subscription for three months, which does lead me to the next point. If you have all the time in the world, you can take advantage of this premium subscription by not only tackling the recommended learning path, but also other paths or rooms so you can learn as much as possible. Lastly, you get a free retake, which is always a nice touch. But Steven, what are some of the reasons why someone shouldn't take the certificate? Well, if you're looking for a more cloud security focused certificate, this isn't the one for you. If you learn better by watching someone go through the material rather than you reading and learning on your own. And lastly, if you're already an experienced SOC analyst, because recall that this certification is targeted towards beginners. Those are my honest thoughts and opinions. And if you're an aspiring SOC analyst who wants an entry level certification that won't break the bank, this could be a good fit for you. At the end of the day, it really boils down to your learning style. TriHackMe is a platform that I often recommend those who are starting out because of the way the rooms and paths are structured. It is incredibly easy to follow along. If you are planning on taking the certification or you just wanna learn more about it, you can click on the link down below. This video was sponsored by TriHackMe and a huge thank you to them for their support. That is it for the video and thank you for watching. If you found this informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.